Kia Kia, Pingo, yeah. Raupo. So we've got five different ones here in the far north. What's the one we don't have? Nene. Okay. Never heard of it. It's sort of like um, it's like a it's like a it's like a flex. Yeah. I can't buy it. So oh. you know, yeah. And oh, also Hauhere, which is uh, Henny's going to claim this putty putty. I know. So this is Hauhere, which is a, a a native plant, which is a lace bud. And so it depends how old the the tree is that you. So if it's that huge, that means it's just thousands of lace bark, and it's like a ribbon. So you cut the bra uh, the, the, the bark, yes. and then you strip it, and it just peels off like a, um, a ribbon. Pure oh, ribbon beautiful. Yeah. So I dyed that. Oh, so yeah. it's pure white. So I dyed it. Pure white. Mm. This is it here. That's it there, that's the green. Mm. Oh, the, the green. Ribbon. Oh, I see, the yeah. ribbon, yes, yes. So the yeah, ribbon, the ribbon is um, beautiful. So you can see it. Yes, I so can you know, like at here. Mate yes, I can see the lace in it. And the lace in here, have a look. So it's beautiful. We're very, you know, lucky and and it's good to learn about the different resources. Mm. And you dyed it green. So and I dyed it green because yeah. I wanted to see how we could do ribbons. Yes, and, uh, yes, yes. But of course, yeah, you're supposed to lie it flat and, and put heavy it objects. So, so it's like a fabric yeah, almost. It's a, it's a yes. fabric. Yes. Yeah. And did our tupuna use it like that too? Yes, that's how they made their clothes. Beautiful. You know, and pingo was used mainly in the olden days for decoration. So, you know, like for, not, not for kitties. They use it for armour, you know, making oh, protection. Yes, so it's yes. an armour protection. Yes. So, and then, of course, it was the places that it grew, you didn't have really access to it. Yeah. So that's the reason that we, as weavers, were going out to, oh. so we could, you know, be able to harvest and weave the material.